Wilberfast here, back after summer spent away travelling, uh, and now the plan is to finish the Android version of Black Dog. So this is it here, it's the version written in C++ with SDL and OpenGL for embedded systems, as opposed to the HTML5 version. There are also a number of gameplay changes. First of all, we can see that the avatar has been moved from a vertical to a horizontal position. Uh, it was pointed out to me that the vertical position was uh, a bit ungainly for getting through narrow gaps, and this one, the hitbox, is a lot more convenient for this kind of gameplay. Also, the feather UI has been made a lot bigger so that we can um, see how many feathers we are without really having to squint. Um, I wanted the objective to be sort of ever present in the player's view, so I've added this little glowing fairy that uh, uh, flies just out of reach all the time and drops these little objectives which you need to collect. When you've collected enough, you gain a boost which will shoot you towards the right hand side of the screen. The objective now is to get to the right hand side of the screen, whereas before you were trying to get rid of all of these weights, so it was essentially a survive for a certain amount of time uh, game. And I think uh, that made the original HTML5 version a, a bit too much of a game of just plain endurance uh, rather than skill uh, and also luck. Uh, here more than ever the um, the difficulty can be a bit schizophrenic, especially as you can see here you get blocked by a very lucky shot from the black dog. Yes, the black dog now has uh, much more of a, a central uh, role in the game as well rather than just being a warning that you're about to die. Uh, it now shoots these little dog projectiles at you, which uh, either hit you or split into three little minions, uh, sort of throwback to Cerberus, the three-headed guardian of the underworld. Um, so this is all part of trying to make both the threat and the objective more visible to the player at all times. And uh, of course I got rid of the weights altogether because no one really understood what they were anyway, and uh, they were a bit of a clunky mechanic. I think um, human beings are naturally acquisitive, so uh, collecting these little orbs is fun and boosting around is fun. I'm going to add a little analog for the black dog on the right hand side of the screen that will appear and beckon you onwards as you uh, approach the uh, end of the game. Uh, so there are a few more things to do, a couple of bugs to catch. Uh, as you'll see at the end here, we'll be killed instantly by a, a glitch. Uh, which doesn't actually occur that often. I was lucky to catch it on uh, film, or rather unlucky. Anyway, that's all for now. Um, yeah, a few more animations to do. Death animation for the projectile. Also a few sounds to find. But yeah, we're nearly done now. Anyway, that's all for now, and um, see you next time, hopefully with a finished version.